the Angelus, the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and, and dwelt among us. us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Will you take a moment to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries with more reverence and with more holiness? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge all our sins. You were sent to heal the conrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed light on all the nations, grant your people the glad gladness of lasting peace, and pour into our hearts that brilliant light by which you purify the minds of our fathers in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, if God so loved us, we must also love one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet, if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us of his spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. In this is love brought to perfection among us, that we have, the, we have confidence on the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. And so one who fears is not yet perfect in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment endow the king, 
and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the Isle shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Sheba shall bring tribute. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After the five thousand had eaten and were satisfied, Jesus made his disciples get into a boat and preceded him to the other side towards Bethsaida, while he dismissed the crowd. And when he had taken leave of them, he went off to the mountain to pray. When it was evening, the boat was far out on the sea, and he was alone on shore. Then he saw that they were tossed, bowed while rowing, for the wind was against them. About the fourth watch of the night, he came towards them walking on the sea. He meant to pass by them. But when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost and cried out. They had all seen him and were terrified. But at once he spoke, to, spoke with them, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. He got into the boat with them and the wind died down. They were completely astounded. They had not understood the Incident of the loss, on the contrary, their hearts were hardened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we heard in today's Gospel, that we know that whenever Jesus Christ comes into your life and my life, always what he tells is this, take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. He is always on our side and he will never abandon us. That's what he is telling in our in our most heart. When we go through difficulties and pains and the sufferings and the sickness of this world, he is, he is in our heart telling silently, take courage, it's I, do not be afraid, I'll take care of all your problems. When we offer this Holy Eucharist, we'll also ask the Lord to be with us, Lord, always and at every time. Whenever you are with us, we don't have to be afraid of anything in this world. To be with us always and at every time. And that makes our life always be fruitful and be always being happy and joyful. We'll bring all our special petitions on the altar of the Lord. We pray especially for Pope Francis, our Bishop Stephen, the entire Catholic Church, and our parish family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick in our parish family and our own families. Let the good Lord touch them and heal them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who have passed away, both in our parish family and our own families. We pray for all the souls in purgatory and for those who do not have anyone to pray for them or remember them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We bring the prayers and petitions of those who have asked for our prayers, especially when they are sick or lonely. 
and for all those who are traveling, and for the less fortunate. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For all those who are affected by the coronavirus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And now let us take a moment to bring our own special petitions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, full of mercy, love, and compassion, help us to open our hearts to hear your voice always and at every time. As you told in today's gospel to your disciples that I am with you, do not be afraid, take courage. Help us to take courage always in all the situations where we are going through, Lord. We bring all our prayers and petitions to you through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, fruit of the earth and work of the human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the wine and work of the human hands. It will become for us the spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Wash away all my iniquities, Lord, make me clean. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice into your hands for, for the praise and the glory of his, his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who gives us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offerings, we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the majesty of our salvation. Mister. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when He appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new, new by the glory of His immortal nature. And so, with all the angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven. We sing the hymn of your glory as yes, without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy therefore this which we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew for so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Check this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, 
Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with the Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, Baker, our Lord, Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also all our departed brothers and sisters and our parents who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her husband, Saint Joseph, with all the blessed apostles and with all the saints and martyrs who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to the eternal life. Praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the, the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should stand under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Pardon. An act of spiritual communion. My, My Jesus, Jesus, I believe that thou art truly present in the, the most holy sacrament. sacrament. I, I love thee above all things, 
and I desire to possess thee within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive thee sacramentally, come out and be spiritually into my heart. I embrace thee as being already there, and unite myself wholly to thee. Never permit me to be separated from thee. Amen. Anima Christi, soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Let me not be separated from thee. Defend me from the malignant enemy. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to thee, that with thy saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for priest, Jesus, Jesus eternal priest, protect, protect all our priests, your servants, from all, from all dangers, and keep them safe in your sacred, sacred heart. They are they yours, and their life is offered in sacrifice at your altar. Keep them pure of heart, and aflame with the love of God and neighbor. Strengthen your priests by living constantly in them, with them, and through them especially in times of loneliness and afflictions, and when their life of sacrifice seems meaningless. Bless all their labors with abundant fruit. May they persevere in their vocation until the end. Mary, our Blessed Mother, wrap them under your mantle and keep them safe from all worldly distractions. May the souls to whom they minister be their joy and consolation in this world, and in heaven, their beautiful and everlasting crown. Amen. Mary, Queen of Greece, pray for us, St. John Vianney, pray for us, St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our safeguard against the wiles and wickedness of the devil. Restrain him, O God, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin and destruction of souls. Amen. Let us pray. May your people, O oh Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow that with the need of souls, things that pass away, they may strive with ever dependent trust for things eternal. Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass ascended go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you for joining with us. We pray each other. Love you all. Thank you.